How are you, Mr. Aaron? I'm great, thank you. That's fantastic. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. I absolutely love it. And you're fantastic in the movie. It's very sweet of you, thank oh, you. Oh, you're welcome. Now, what got you interested in playing Vronsky? I think it was uh, many, many factors, really. Um, you know, but uh, mostly uh, Tom Stoppard wrote such a beautiful screenplay. And uh, the character I could, you know, really relate to and see a lot. Uh, in him and how to play him, um, and I just, I just loved his honesty and the effect that she had on him that, that that brought out his sort of, his feelings and he was pretty in touch with his feelings and, and open about that and and uh, and the sort of length he would go for love, and what he puts on the line for it, but uh, that and you know Joe Wright and uh, Joe and Kira is just a combo in itself and. Um, and then, uh, you know, Joe expressed the vision that he had for it and that he wanted to set it on this kind of theatrical stage and, and have a lot of dance movement and physical movement to express emotion. And, and, uh, and I was really intrigued and I liked the idea and I thought it was original and new and I think it was risky and I think I admire, you know, and I admire him for that. And you love taking risky roles, don't you? Like a challenge. You love yeah. challenging yourself. I think those are fun though, you know, what's the point in kind of doing what's... Uh... In being safe, yeah. right? Right. My favorite, favorite scene in the film, one of my favorites actually, is um, the frou-frou, the racehorse scene. Yeah. It's, it's got a subtext of the love between Vronsky and Anna, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's kind of got a balance throughout it, you know, everything's sort of a metaphor, even the scenery and the mood and the dance and... Uh, even even him in white and her in black is very much yin and yang, and the, even the dance throughout. That's one, you know, the man's leading, and then she's the woman's leading, and it's very much leaning on one another, and who's driving who's driving the relationship. Right. And it's sort of spiraling out of control, you know. And and here's the best part too about those moving set pieces. The reason why it's not gimmick is because they are also part of the characters. Mm hmm. Right. Yeah, no, I think, you know, it plays a lot in, in, in the Russian society at that time as well because, you know, Joe's, Joe's reason for doing that, he had a very strong reason, and it was uh, the more he sort of researched into Russian society and culture at that time, they were having a bit of an identity crisis, and they sort of saw themselves as being French, and they'd read books on etiquette and, you know, and how to kind of dress and stand and... Like the French people. Yeah, right? so then... Um, so, you know, so they were kind of very conscious of what they're doing and aware of them sort of acting, really, in a way. So then he set everybody on stage. So it kind of gave us this sort of sense of being able to, uh, you know, kind of be a bit more aware of our movement. Right, you know? right. So now, good. one of my favorite lines in the film is, um, will you die for love? Yeah. I love that line. Will, will you? Of course, yeah. Really? Of course. Not in a way like in a train or anything, right? No, no, sure. <laughs> that's just too gory, right? I love Don't it. Don't have to go that way, yeah. <laughs> right? Now, let's talk about quickly about your future projects. So you're, you're signed on to Kick-Ass too. Yeah. That is fantastic. I love that film. Yeah, I start filming next week. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I want to see you again in a fantastic costume. <laughs> oh, it's the same old wetsuit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank you All very right? much. And good luck on everything. Cheers, pal. Thank you. Bye.